We're here, Ta Ta Tadayoshi kun. Seems we made it in time. <sighs> I feel like we walked three hours or more just to get here. I can't take it. Gonna vomit. Well, we should rest a bit before going to the mansion. <sighs> yeah, I'm still fine, but if you insist, let's take a break. Oh? How thoughtful you are. <sighs> yeah, I am. A gentleman that would embarrass the British. Nothing special. Uh-huh, good, good. I get the feeling she's mocking me. Here, have a drink of water. Thanks. I empty the small water bottle Rosary gives me in one go. Water spreads throughout my entire body. Now, after a break, I take a look around. I didn't think about it before, but when I look at the mansion from the outside, it hits me just what a big place I live in. Just like everyone says, it's a big mansion, isn't it? Yeah, it's easy to lose your way inside if you wander around. I always had servants with me when I had to walk, so I've never gotten lost in the mansion. Funeral hall for a Kurokawa family. A guide board with black frames shows that the funeral was indeed being held. To the public, being a likely success successor, my death has a big influence on Korakawa Zaibatsu. Even though I've been shunned by the family behind the scenes, they would never pull a prank like this. So, my dead body should be in the funeral hall. It appears that nobody inside is causing a commotion. The body in the funeral hall should be identical to me. Tadayoshi kun? What are you going to do? Rosary looks into my face with concern. I've got no choice. I'll go into the mansion and prove that I'm still alive. What if this is a conspiracy against me? The culprit left me in the slums and thinks that the slum dwellers do the rest of his dirty work. And I think he doesn't expect me to return to this place alive. I try to approach the mansion. The gate is closed. There are two guards standing near the gate. Since it's a funeral for a sign of Kurokawa Zaibatsu, lots of VIPs are here. So the security is going to be really high. Not even a cat can get in. I think I know those two. Maybe I saw them before when I lived here? That makes this easy. They would be surprised to see me alive, but they should let me in. Hey, you there! Open the gate for me, now! Huh? Who's this arrogant brat? I don't know. Maybe a slum kid trying to steal something? What are they talking about? They work for Kurokawa and don't know my face? I don't think that's possible. Well, what is this funeral all about? None of your business. Better go home now. What a bunch of fools for not knowing the son of their master. I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa. Why is my funeral being held despite me being alive? Uh -huh. What? Upon hearing my words, the guy's eyes widen and they glance at each other. Boy, what are you saying? It's unlikely we don't know the face of our, our master's son. Come up with a better story if you're going to lie to us. Tadayoshi sama is a grown up. Yeah, he's not a little bugger like you. Did they say I'm a grown up? I'm still 16 years old. Who are they talking about? Are you guys out of your mind? Tadayoshi Kurokawa is already a grown up? 
What a joke. Anyways, you guys are just goons. Let me pass. Enough. We don't have time to deal with a kid like you. Guard grabs me and starts dragging me away from the gate. Let me go! Don't you know what's going to happen if you do this to me? I struggled, but I couldn't do anything against his well-trained muscles. Lifted up by the guard, I couldn't get my feet off the on the ground. Get lost. He throws me away violently, treating me like trash. Ouch, you... No! When I try to run back to the gate, Rosary stops me. Rosary's eyes are wet and tears are about to flow. Rosary, why are you stopping me? Please, I know how you feel, but you must fall back. She's so desperate not to let me go. Oh. I just got a glimpse, but one, one of the guards has a gun, and it's aimed at me. It doesn't seem like they're going to hesitate to shoot me if I keep going. I know Kurokawa Zaibatsu has many enemies. Even if it's a kid, they'll have to dispose of anyone trying to harm Kurokawa. I bet Rosary stopped me before she saw the gun. Damn it! I'm not convinced, but I can't drag Rosary into danger with me. Not only am I dead, but I'm a grown-up too. None of this makes any sense at all! I want to cry out loud, but I bite my lip to hold it in. I take the rope back to the church with heavy steps. And... opening, probably. And watch all my frame drops. And it's not that bad. Young girl leaving at the church. Young German lady visiting Japan. Mina. Oh yeah, and more butterflies. I don't think this opening should be lagging this much, but oh well. It's getting a little bit better. And of course, right as I say that, oh well. Two thugs. Oh, idiots everywhere. I don't know how many days have passed since I drifted to this place. At this point, I'm beating up guys who try to pick fights with me daily. I'm already used to it. Hey, that girl's tough, but she's got good proportions. Don't you agree? Hmm, they're nothing but a blob of fat. Well toned chest muscles the best. Man, wow. Eh, I bet she pleasures men on the side. Uh, people either want to do me or fill me up, their desires give me a headache. People here are trying hard just to live. I guess that's the only entertainment they've got, other than gambling. Hey! If you got something to say, spit it out! I shout at those, I shout at those sneaky people. I can't help it. 
That kind of stuff gets on my nerves. Maybe because I still got that thing from before in my head. A nun who lives in an old church. She's been smiling at everyone, and her presence comforts me. A nun who gives a helping hand to anyone. She wants to help anyone who's in trouble. Rosary. Can't understand what she's thinking at all. Are all her good works done out of goodness of her heart? Or does she have some sort of agenda? I can't see anything fishy about her. That boy with Rosary. She must have picked him up. Rosary really likes to get involved in those kinds of problems. Well, it's nothing to do with me after all. I'm just doing whatever I, I have to in order to survive. I ain't got time to care about anyone else. And they never catch my interest. Speaking of Rosary, I remember there will be a soup kitchen at the church tomorrow. Once a week they give food to people who live in the slums. I heard that Rosary's paying for that out of her own pocket. Food is the most valuable thing in the slums. It's a fact of life that people fight and still from each other for it. Maybe I should pay a little visit. Cause free food is nice. I'm not interested in anyone regardless of ginger, but I can't get Rosary out of my mind. I don't know what she wants, but that's enough reason to have an interest in her. And suspicious man. Probably stalking people. Huh. I lost count of how many times I've sighed. How did I return to the from the mansion? I don't remember the way back at all. When I was on the way to the mansion, everything looked colorful and fresh. But on the way back, I felt like they'd become lackluster and faded. Tadayoshi Kurakawa is already a grown-up and has died of a heart attack. Then, who am I? What am I? I can't figure out who I am. The things I felt sure... Sure of our crumbling. It feels like I wandered into an unknown world while sleeping. What should I do? I've lost everything I had in the, in the night. Not only my wealth and status, but also my existence. Now what am I going to do? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't at all. I couldn't bear the burden of my heart being crushed. I just scream out loud. Tadushikun, are you okay? Rosary? Sorry, did I wake you up? Rosary enters the room in a hurry. I think she heard my scream and got worried. No, but I couldn't care less about that. Rosary stares at me with a worried look on her face. Tears are about to flow from her big round eyes. Please don't do that. If she starts crying, I'll cry too. Hey, Tadayoshi-kun, can you tell me more about yourself? About me? Will that mean anything to you? The person here is Tadayoshi Kurokawa. Except, he's not really. My experiences are nothing but lies to Rosary, but... I want to hear what path you walked in the past. So, I ended up telling Rosary everything I've experienced. Being that likely successor of Kurokawa Zaibatsu, I took special classes. The family didn't like me, and the servants were only there to care for me. And I rarely ran out of the ma mansion and spent days reading books. I told her anything that came to mind. Rosary listened to everything I told her. She looked me in the eyes and listened without comment. Oh, you've been on a troubled path. After waiting for me to finish my story, Rosary hugs me gently. It's so warm. And she smells so nice. I feel like my heart is filling up with so much warmth. I'm about to cry. 
I don't know what I am. I've lost everything. Like my place to live? My, like my place to live in life? Like my place in life, my place in life. My existence? I can't do anything anymore. Tadayoshi Kurokawa, the likely successor of Kurokawa Zaibatsu, has indeed passed away from a heart attack. But the Tadayoshi Kurokawa I know is an arrogant boy who treats strangers like a, like me rudely. So, you, the person in front of me, are definitely Tadayoshi Kun. You're nobody else. Hazari's words left weight from my heart. I feel stupid for thinking so seriously about my identity. Well, I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa, as you told me. Yes, to me, you are Tadayoshi Kun. If you don't get it right today, you can try again tomorrow. She slowly pats my teary head with her warm hand. That comf comforts me so much. Her hand banishes the darkness in my mind. Oh, getting sleepy? I don't know, but how about my head's cleared up? I'm feeling pretty tired. Looks like you're alright. You just you're just tired from all the wa walking today. So you should rest well. I will. Thank you, Rosary. Rosary smiles at me and leaves the room. My eyes suddenly get heavy. If I sleep now, the bad feelings I just had should be completely gone by tomorrow. When I closed my eyes, a deep exhaustion came over me. I didn't resist it at all and fell asleep. In a flashback. Huh. <sighs> Hey, you still locking yourself up in that room and reading? Hmm. <laughs> no, I know our father likes you, so you can just sit in there and read. Well, aren't you special? Brothers, please knock before coming into my room. I've asked you over and over. <laughs> Get your own room. Get your own room because you're kind of smart. That's so disgusting. So, so, Yeah, you're nothing but brains, and you're the likely successor. That shouldn't happen. This again. When my father chose me as Kurokawa's su successor, my older brothers kept cursing at me. Won't they leave already? I want to read in peace. I don't ca care if I succeed Kurokawa's Ibatsu or not. My father is still in good health and still active in the business, so I can't understand his decision. Hey. Hey. Talk to me. Piece of crap! <laughs> Did they get pissed off at me for ignoring them? Now this brother punches me in the face. Ow! What are you doing? Huh? Trying to talk back to me like you're a man? You're nothing. You can't do anything on your own. Damned right. You're a one man plague. So why don't you do the Kurokawa family a favor and leave? Wow. Sounds like Street Fighter. Stop! Brothers! No! Get out! Get out! You're a bad omen. Nobody should sh shed a tear if you died. I shrink in on myself, like a tortoise retreating into its shell to resist their violence. 
One man plague, they called me. To my brothers, it might be an obstacle to their own ambitions. And so sad and depressing. I didn't become a successor candidate because I wanted to. They said I can't do anything. That is true. So I can only move with the flow of the times. I had nothing particular to do except read in my room. But there was one thing I always look forward to. I was pen pals with a girl who lived in a distant land, Germany. I met her in person when I was young. She had fair skin, lightly colored hair, and wide open eyes. I exchanged letters with her on a monthly basis, without skipping a single month. She's an important person to me. What will she think when she hears of my death? Ah. As I whisper her name, the darkness overtakes me. And my consciousness sinks into the depths. And it's morning. But I think I'll stop here for now and probably continue later. So tell me in the comments below what do you think of this game so far. Because I, eh, it, it's somewhat slow, but it's still interesting with the backstory. And I love mysteries, so... Hopefully we solve this case. Anyways, guys, I'm Celestial Shadows, and I should save. There we go. And thank you for watching, but bye for now.